guidance your daily reflection okay your daily spiritual message usually when you get it later depending on what time um that you get this message this is really going to be your soul guidance for this moment okay we know that time is an illusion it does not exist it is never too late it is never too early honey all right it is never you are right where you need to be and we are literally practicing living in the moment Okay, because the more that you realize that that you that you can't get behind, you get what I'm saying, that your future is not running away from you. You get what I'm saying, that the past does not control you. Oh my God, that just brings so much peace, inner peace, okay? You can slow down, you can process, you can actually do what it is that you need to do in this very moment. You can be here. <laughs> so I am recording this on this beautiful Tuesday, but whenever this video finds you, my love, that is when it's meant for you guys. Um, let me just tell you, all of you beautiful souls, that I know I say this so much. I hope I don't cry, because y'all know sometimes I can do the most. But I honestly want to let each and every one of you beautiful souls know that I love you. And it is such an honor, an honor to be a part of your journey. Whether it's in the messages that I bring to you from the divine, whether it's in spirituality, whether it's in love, whether it's in your self-worth, your confidence, all of the above, whether it's just that person that gets you and understands you <laughs> like nobody else. Like if you probably like told somebody else this, it would just go left. You get what I'm saying? I'm I am so honored to be a part of your process, a part of your journey, a part of your life. Thank you for allowing me inside of your heart. And it's just mind boggling to me. And I love each and every single one of you. I love you so freaking much. <laughs> okay, guys. So I have to say this because she's a Leo and she watches my daily, you know, my, my daily videos, my soul guidances, my niece, Anaya House. <laughs> All right. Um, she is turning 15 today and um, she really wanted me to express it on here. So I am definitely expressing this on here. If you're listening this to this, Anaya, see, look at me. I'm loving you. Okay. Also, guys, oh my gosh, she's so ghetto. She <laughs> wants me to insert pictures of her. I I gotta do it because y'all know y'all know how Leos are. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to deal with that. I'm not even trying to deal with that. But I just honestly want to let her know I love you so much, baby love. I'm so proud of you. I could not ask for a better niece. I'm so happy that you never allow what people may say to stop you from being you because that's one of the things that auntie did when she was younger i was so fearful of people's opinions that i would like miss out on opportunities i would stop myself so anaya i truly dedicate this daily guidance to you i'm about to cry because i really want you to know i am so proud of you for standing in your truth, no matter what that looks like to anybody else. You are one fearless lioness, honey, and you really inspire me. And um, yeah, I love you. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to insert a picture of her in here. Also, she want me to drop her cash app. She loves, <laughs> she's so good out, but I got to do this. She's 15. So, you know, Whatever, you guys can follow her on Instagram. She does have a YouTube. I insert that too where she does pranks and does like little things. But anyways, um, getting back to this message that I have for you today, okay? Um, my loves, 
I need you to know, whoever is watching this video, you are literally on a self-love journey, okay? Really accepting yourself, really knowing your worth, really loving what you see in the mirror, okay? From the inside and out. And I wanna let you know that I am so utterly proud of you. And if you could hear the divine, your spirit guides, Jesus, Allah, the universe speak to you, I promise you it is saying, job well done. Okay, job well done. Now, sometimes things may show up in our life that make us feel like, oh my God, like why is this happening? Why is this unfolding? Why are we going here? But I promise you, it all serves a purpose. And you know that we just came out of this cancer, cancer season. Also, the eclipse brought a lot of emotions, a lot of things that maybe were hidden to the surface, e feelings in relationships. You know, um, if you are on a twin flame journey, definitely check out that video. I'm going to be dropping that video sometime today or in the midst of the 1 a.m. depending on because, you know, it is a Leo's birthday in my house. So we got to go extravagantly. You know, it's her day and she wants all her attention. So I'm going to be dropping that. But, you know, there's a lot going on, I like to say, in the cosmos. Um, but I promise you, what you are experiencing is getting you right here for this very moment, right here, right now. Because as I was in meditation, um, the, the message that spirit really placed on my heart is a message of worthiness. And the reason why is because where you are about to go, okay, where you are right now, that door that you're walking through <laughs> in this Leo season, um, and we know a Leo, honey, what? Say what you want. The one thing you won't call a Leo is something that they identify with their self with. You will not tell them that they are not that, okay? So in this Leo season, in this, in this next stage, in this next space that we are in, that we're cultivating, that we're getting used to in, um, circumstances and situations may show up, okay, that is really getting you to see your worth, to see your worthiness, knowing that you are capable of doing, having, being anything that you desire, really coming into this energy that you are the creator of your life, okay? In order to truly embody that energy, there is a sense of you having to know who you are, okay? And with you knowing who you are, somewhere down our childhood and life, we were told some things that really are not who we are, really are not what we want, are really not what we desire, okay? And I really feel like the cancer and eclipse brought that shit to the surface, honey. <laughs> it showed us that. It, but in the mix of that contrast, it showed you a clear path of what you are, who you are. You get what I'm saying? Where you're going, okay? What you will, what you will no longer tolerate right? You will stand up in your truth and you will be you. You are making a conscious decision every single day to come out of your comfort zone, to peel back that cloth of that cloth that you have put onto yourself and be who you are at your core. Okay. And by that now enter and in coming into your, 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 your aura, your energy field or opportunities that are truly meant for you, that are truly something that you really want to do, whether it's on a career, whether it's in love, whether it's on your self-love journey, the healing, all of these things are coming up, okay? Major, beautiful opportunities that are here for you. But in order for you to say, you know what? Yeah, let me go this way. Let me grab this. Let me do this. Let me let me show up for this. Let me be present. Yes, I deserve this. Yes, this is for me. Yes, I can do this. Yes, I know who I am. That stems from a place of worthiness, okay? And I really feel like Whoever's watching this, you don't lack the confidence, even though it may show up in your confidence, like you, you feel like you're not confident. That has nothing to do with it. You a real confident, cocky individual. Let me tell you, I know, cause you connected to me. Two things for sure. <laughs> uh, confidence. Oh, that's not the issue. But what happens is, is really any attention right now in this moment that you give to your sacral chakra. Okay. That is your 
your, your like your I think I want to say your third chakra, okay? And that's your creativity. That's where the divine is. That's where everything that feels good to you. That's where all of that is your passion, your sensuality. Like all the feel goods are there. That's how you create whatever it is that you want. That's how you create the opportunities. You get what I'm saying? So, in order you don't lack the confidence to really go after um, let me see if I can explain this divine, give it to me. You don't lack the confidence to go after the opportunities, but it's more so creating the opportunities. Does that make any sense? Because I feel like there's a little fear, fearful of maybe you feeling unworthy of, you know, the love that you truly desire, unworthy of following your dreams and knowing that you can do it, <laughs> you know, but it's all about, so any any attention that you pay, pay right now in this moment to your sacral chakra, your orange chakra, you can do that by yoga, you can do that by meditation, you can do that by eating, um, not green, but orange fruits and vegetables, okay? Also, any any attention that you really, um, because you know we've been focused on our heart chakra, okay? And also your root. I, dang, damn, are we focused on all of them? <laughs> I just been working them all, but the ones that the divine really wants me to talk about today is really your sacral chakra, okay? Um, yeah, it's really getting you inspired, just really getting you in this place of, yes, I deserve this. Yes, I know this. Yes, 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 yes. And then once you really get that to flowing, you know, once you really take back your, your power in that situation, Okay, because you may be flowing in certain a beautiful area, just flourishing, but in one area you just get a little stuck on. It happens to the best of it happens to me all the time. And <laughs> what happens is, um, I really feel like whatever attention that you pray to your sacral chakra, it's going to help you take back power of that situation. It's going to help you be able to stand up and your voice be heard. Okay, so with that being said, <laughs> I don't want to talk you guys. Um, down, but yeah, I'm just really feeling like just know who you are, and this Leo energy that we're coming into is really going to help you shine. People like to say Leos are, you know, oh my God, they will make anything about them. You get what I'm saying? But they really, this, oh, Leos really, really flow from the solar plex. Maybe for some of you, it is the solar plex, because I keep seeing that. I keep seeing the solar plex too, and you know, Leo is all about confidence. Okay. But so I feel like any work that you pay to the sacral chakra and the solar plex is really going to do you bountiful, okay? And also, one of the things that I did, and it's really been placed on my heart, okay, is, and even if you're going back to what I said, you being in a twin flame, I don't know where we're going here right now because it's not the message for this, but if you're in a, if you feel like you are in a twin flame union or you know that you're, that's the route that you're, you're destined, that your soul called and said you're going on, any attention that you pay towards childhood wounds, doing the meditation, going within, it's really going to benefit you and your counterpartner, okay? Whether you know them, who they are, or you don't know who they are. But when you do that, that's really going to help you guys, okay? And also, it's just going to help yourself. It's really going to help you know that you are worthy because maybe in your childhood, something was shown to you. You've seen it. All right. And you took it as it, you took it on as it was yours. Okay. And I really feel like, um, this Leo season is really going to help you see that you are worthy. So when these opportunities show up, when these things show up, my love muffin, take them because you are truly deserving. The cards were ready to come out guys. So I wanted to like save some so we can do together to really grab what is the message. All right. We already got that. That came through. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and clarify these cards and just get the additional soul guidance that the divine has for the beautiful soul that is watching this. I feel like I, for some of you, these opportunities are out of your element. You just feel like, oh my God, like, I don't know if I can really do that. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can, you can do anything that you put your mind to. And I'm not just telling you that energy don't lie. That's one of the reasons, like anybody that like really like vibes with me and you're connected with me and you're like, dang, Tori, you getting it. Guess what, boo? You getting it too because we are tied. We are in the same soul family. Do you understand me? You came here to really see light. You came here to show up and be bold, just like a Leo. Like you didn't come and it's yeah, nothing, nothing wrong. wrong with, you know, um, 
just say not having a, a, a really bold life. But you didn't, what happens is, is when you make something that is not for you, for you, and you try to force that, that's when it becomes the problem. So, you know, if you realize that, you know, you feel like there's more for you, there is more for you and it is coming and it is here. And how you really cultivate that energy, okay, baby, is by the steps and the decisions that you make. Crawl, walk, moment by moment, I promise you. And it's all going to make sense. It's all going to pan out. And like I told you, on the bottom of this deck, honey, we have the eight of bows. All right? Job well done. And for some of you, this worthy, like, you're not, you know, the worthiness, okay? Or like really feeling like you can create an opportunity or like even if you manifest something, just knowing that you are worthy of it. I just feel like there's just this not feeling like you're worthy of it. And you are, you're worthy of that relationship. You're worthy of that person. You're worthy of that opportunity. You're worthy to all the uh, mystical, magical places that you would travel, every room that you walk into, you are worthy for it. There is nobody holding you back, but that stinking thinking. And I really feel like when you pay attention to your sacral chakra, do those um, childhood meditations, it's going to really help you move away from that stinking thinking. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> so I got these new cards and I love it because I read this book. Y'all, this book is freaking phenomenal right here. So what I wanted to do is I really um, was shuffling the cards and I asked the divine, you know, what message do you have for the beautiful soul on a, you know, that is watching, what is their soul screaming to them right now in this moment as they're watching this video? What is their soul saying? And it says success and fulfillment, fulfillment in life rest on the unflagging ability to get up, to be ourselves, to chase our dreams with fire each day. Remember I said each step, okay? to keep willing ourselves to the next level of presence and performance and potential. Come on. It couldn't get any clearer. So really the, the level of presence in this moment is what I'm hearing. What are you doing in this moment? Because the potential is endless. You understand me? It's limitless. There's nothing that you can't have. There's nothing that you can't be. There's nothing that you can't do. I promise you. And it all begins with you really seeing your worthiness. Okay? Success and fulfillment. Success and fulfillment. Ah. Uh, those things are yours. It's very real. And the things that are showing up in your life are screaming at you and letting you know that, yes, there is more. It's yours. Okay. For some of you, you're already seeing the success and fulfillment. You're already seeing these things. And you're like, yes, it's telling you, come on. Yes. Come out of your comfort zone. Start that business. Start that channel. Put yourself out there. Go on that date. Be open. Make the first move. Do what you got to do. If you got to leave the, a relationship that's not for you, leave that mess. Get out of there. You are not talking to somebody that has not experienced that, that has not done that. I was married to my childhood sweetheart. When he was nine years old, he got on his knees and proposed to me with a ring out of the Cracker Jack box <laughs> and told me, you're gonna be my wife one day. I know y'all like, oh, you know, oh my God, that was really cute. But but that nigga was a hot mess and he was cheating and he was doing the most. And see, I, st I stayed in that relationship because of that cute moment. Because when, you know, it was cute then, but in reality, I was crying. I was stressed. I was eating myself into 325 pounds. I was depressed. I was suicidal. Until I said, you know what? The unflagging ability. Oh, and, and I said, you know, I, can, I can't do this. So I had to get up. I had to be myself. I had to honor myself. And I had to go after what it is that I wanted. And I wanted freedom. And I wanted stability. And I wanted a loving connection. And I wanted these things. I wanted intimacy mentally, spiritually, emotionally. I wanted these things and he couldn't give them to me. So I had to do what I had to do for me. 
And that was get my ass out of there, okay? <laughs> because I am worthy of that. When I was at a job that was like, oh my God, <sighs> just same thing. Take that and do the same thing. One of the one of the beautiful souls that I'm working with, that I'm coaching, like she has, you know, she's never been like a nine to five person, but she started to work. And now she's really trying to transition and really get back to what, how she used to be with running her business and just that entrepreneur mindset. And, you know, just really going that way. But she's kind of scared because in a nine to five, there is a guarantee like stability. You get what I'm saying? Even though it can only, it only dictates how much you can get. It's a set number, but it's still stability. And when you're an entrepreneur, when you're out here, motherfucking <laughs> out here, there is a, there is some trust that you have to have in the divine, in the universe, within yourself, honey. But like I told her, that gets me excited. You get what I'm saying? Because there's nothing like for each soul that is watching this, I know for a fact, just because of who we are and we are ener energetically linked, when your back is against the wall, when you, ha when you have nothing, you are always the one that you will make some shit happen. You will turn shit into sugar because I do it all the time. There ain't one thing that you're going to tell me, listen, there's nothing that I haven't overcame, outcome, conquered, and ate. That's why I root for the underdog. So I know that you can do it. Whatever this thing that you feel like you can't do, I know that you can do it, my love. I really know that you can. Okay? So now we're going to look and just see. Let me move my tea out of the way, guys. Let me get a sip real quick. Move this out of the way. Now we're going to just look and see what guidance that the divine has for the beautiful soul that is watching this today. And I already told y'all, I love this. I love this. Like I was, I thought it looked cheesy, but something said, get it. And I got it guys. And I freaking love these cards. Like I sleep with them in my bed. Like I really bond with this deck. I really, I really love this deck. Okay. So let's just see what message the divine. Oh, wow. We got the giraffe, <laughs> the giraffe spirit. Okay. And it was reversed. So I'm going to read it. Cause it says, see the big picture. Maybe you're not looking at the bigger picture. Maybe you're only concentrating on what it is right now. And right now it's not looking good. So that's why you're like, oh, I can't, I, I'm, oh, that's too big for me. Like, that's a lot. Like, I don't know if I can do that because you're, you're looking in with narrow eyes. Okay. You're, you're looking in, the, you're not looking at the bigger picture. When you're, when you're looking at art, you get what I'm saying? When we're looking at something, like we can zone in on this, this person's nose, you know, we can be like this. I don't know, my camera's not focused. You know what I'm saying? But you, you missing it. You, you can't really see the picture when it's like this, but if you pull this thing back, honey, you know what I'm saying? Like you look at it as an overall Okay, this is what spirit needs you to look, whatever situation that is coming up in your mind, this is how spirit needs you to see the situation, okay? Because I really feel like when you're like trying to go over how you're gonna make it happen, every little detail, over analyzing, of course you're gonna run because all of your fears are being presented and you're just seeing like, oh yeah, I can't overcome this. I, I can't do it. You get what I'm saying? And guess what? That's a lie. And this is the guardian card. And this is the traditional, in the traditional deck, this is the devil card. And this is what I will, this, I will never forget. Someone gave me on YouTube, can't remember who the beautiful soul is, but I was, when I was um, debating if I was going to buy this deck. Cause you know, I was just before, like I was like, got into tarot. Cause I used to like be scared of tarot cards. <laughs> but anyways, before I knew like what they were, I was like, I only deal with Oracle. Shabu. But anyways, um, this card. Imagine everything that you've ever desired, you've ever wanted, okay, is right through here, okay? But this is your fears. These are your doubt. These are your insecurities. Now, you being who you are, are you going to let someone, something that's decayed, something that's lying, an illusion? Because it's a bag of fucking bones, what you should be doing is how to figure out how you can overcome this fear, how you can get a stick and knock the hell out of these bag of bones and go on about your business. 
You get what I'm saying? That's zooming in on the bigger picture instead of like, oh my God, you get what I'm saying? Like that's what's needed from you right now. But I really feel like when it comes to this thing that you truly want, you get triggered. Your, you know, your fears show up, all these things, all these things of why you can't have it. But what you need to do is ground yourself. And go on YouTube and do a quick grounding meditation. But you know what? I'm going to share it here because I shared, um, you know, I'm being guided to. One of the things that I love to do to get ground is just wherever you are, just make sure your hands are open like this. It could be at your side, but just make sure your hands are not closed, but open and your feet are on the ground. You can do it with your eyes open guys, or you can do it when your eyes are shut because one of this was given to me, like when I go on the stage or, or when I go in a place where I'm speaking and I'm, and I'm engaging, I can do this to really ground myself. And, um, I done this exercise. I practice it because I used to have heart conditions. I used to get very overstressed, overworked to the point that it was literally going to take me out of here. And I would never forget that I went to a, 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 had a reading done and she told me this and I, you know, I would, I didn't tell my family, but I knew something was very wrong with me because my body was getting numb. I was swelling. It was just some stuff going on and she called it out and she told me what it was. It was stress. So she told me to ground myself. So I do those things. And then she, I, I prefer to close my eyes. So you just close your eyes, okay, guys? And then you imagine yourself standing and wherever you are, I always see a room, but it can be anywhere. And imagine a tree, a big, healthy, green, really thick trunk tree hanging or over the top of your head. If you can't imagine a tree over the top of your head, imagine a picture of a thick, luscious tree hanging over the top of your head. And then you're gonna imagine that tree sprouting roots, okay? Coming down into your head, going all through your body, all the way down through your hands, through your legs, through your calves, through your, you know, um, coming all the way throughout your feet, okay? And then you're gonna imagine those roots coming out of your feet, going into the ground. And you're going to wait until you feel a tingle, okay? And just wait, let it naturally happen. You're going to feel this tingle. And then when you feel this tingle, guys, I want you to send those roots deeper into the ground, deeper into the ground. And you just imagine those roots just taking off, small ones, thick ones, just going into the core of the earth, getting rooted, honey. And then once you see that, you just take a deep breath in and then exhale. And you've grounded yourself. How easy was that? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So I really feel like when you ground yourself, you're going to be able to face these things. You're going to stop being indecisive. You're going to be able to look at whatever you may be looking at that is too big and too, you know, too, too scary for you to overcome, which is going to bring you the spark of life, which is going to bring you the ace of cups, the desires of your heart. Okay. All the elements, something that you want is destined to be, this is faded. This is divinely orchestrated. Do you see the arrow? Do you see the bow? Do you see the target? Everything happened for a reason. You needed whatever happened, whatever you experienced, whatever you did, you needed this to really, really um, come into this spark of life, okay? So I do wanna let you guys know that. Now we're gonna go over here. If you guys hear any noise in the background, I apologize. We're really getting ready for birthday festivities. So a lot of people are um, at my house and they're talking loud, so I apologize. <laughs> so let's see what's next, okay? So what's next is the White Raven Spirit. Oh, I love this card. Trust in the magic. Mm, I love this card because, you know, when this person created this deck, she was very strategic. Hope I said that word right. But um, how rare is it to see a white raven? Okay. Very rare indeed. Okay. So when you see, when you see this card, okay, it's asking you to trust in the magic. I know that it, you know, it may seem quote unquote impossible, but it is not impossible, okay? Where there is magic, where there is belief, all right? Where there is feeling. You get what I'm saying? This is destined, this is fated. All the, all the divine the universe needs you to do is to trust in the magic. I wanna read this card to you guys, okay? 
and all about doing your own way with the nine of stones in this deck it talks about tradition maybe it's time for you to go away from everybody else do it you know ravens are black but there's a white raven maybe it's time for you to come into your own tradition maybe it's time for you to really come into your own way like i'll be honest with you i always tell you guys that when i was you know i knew on my life from a, a earlier age age that I was meant to spread light that I was meant to sp um spread love that I was a healer um one of the ways that I I spent a lot of my life trying to define how I wanted to do it how I wanted to go by it by uh, um by it because I didn't know at the time what an empath was an intuitive clairvoyant and clair odyssey and all that stuff means but I always had it. I was always able to see things like I can walk up into a person, walk in a room and be able to see what everybody's thinking, what everybody's feeling. I can call things out. You know what I'm saying? I can tell them whatever little messages that the divine that God gives me to them. But I also I thought that I had to do it a certain way. And the way that I was introduced to it was through um, church. OK, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I was a praise and worship like I, you know, I thought that it had to be a certain kind of way. However, when I was doing it the way that I thought that it had to be by other people's point of views, by other people's tra traditions, it didn't flow. I didn't, it, it didn't come out. <laughs> it didn't really, you know, take the momentum as it is now by me helping and spreading. Okay. And the way that I choose to do it to others, it may be unorthodox. It may not look like, okay, that's where it is. But to me, none of that matters. It's all about you defining what is good for you? What is your way of doing it? Maybe you've been trying to do it somebody else's way and it's time for you to really come into your way. Like I said, the message is still the same. I'm still spreading love and light, but I'm doing it my way. And by me in my lane, doing it my way, I'm flowing, I'm growing, I'm receiving. You understand me? So that's what I really feel like it's coming. It's time for you to untangle yourself from um, you know, doing it the way that everyone else do it and just really go on and do your own thing is what I'm hearing. And this is faded. This is going to happen whether you like it now, but I feel like right now you're being guided just to go ahead and move, go ahead and step out there before you have a tower moment and you crumble. And either way you're coming to this, you're going to do this either way, this thing that you desire, whether you're scared of it or not, it's going to, they're going to, you're going to get your stuff. But right now, I feel like you have a way to choose or the path that you want to do it, okay? Um, where it's not so hard, it's not so dense, it's not so difficult, even though you probably feel like it's so difficult to really step out there, Tori, you don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> but I promise you, you know, it can get a little shakier, you know? So if you want to avoid that, just go out there and do that. But I want to read this to you guys, 66. Let me read this to you guys, okay? Because I, I love this, like the definitions that she gives to these cards. It's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Okay, here we go. So sorry, guys. Okay, so let me grab it back. Oh, can, we, can I? Can I get it together? <laughs> okay, so we have the white raven right here. All right, it says, white raven, trust in magic. Nothing in the universe is random. Okay. For the web of creation weaves together all events and has done so since the beginning of time. Time. Coincidence has meaning, and the white raving spirit appears to remind you to pay attention to these synchronous that word synchronicities so that you might recognize patterns. Even the wind dances in a pattern, okay? Pra participating in the magic of spirit plans for all. Align with the highest good and intentions and you will come to see that white raven is guiding you, okay, an alley to you and a messenger from spirit. Align with the light and you will start to recognize that all is working together harmoniously in ways that I cannot always see. And the mind cannot always comprehend. So I know it doesn't make sense, but I promise you, now is the time to trust in the magic of the world that is everywhere and in all things. Pay attention to how things come together as if by magic and you will see the hand of great spirit arranging things in your favor. Okay, this is why it's calling for you to trust. Okay. 
your spirit is calling for you to trust. Your spirit is calling for you to trust, okay? Let's see, Let's see what's next, okay? We have the, the wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings, okay? So maybe whatever you're looking at is a touchy situation. Maybe you tried it before you did it. You, you're kind of burnt by it. It doesn't matter whatever it is, you've been burnt, okay? For some of you, it's love, okay? Or the love of something. Like this is your passion, but you, you know, you're, you're nervous because maybe you got told no or you, you, know, you got hurt or something. But the divine is saying with dedication, with, with perseverance, what's that word? Perseverance. <laughs> that word. <laughs> with that word, when you don't give up, I promise you will reap the benefits, okay? It is yours. You will definitely reap it. But maybe you've been stung, you know, and you're, and you're kind of like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go there. Let's read the protection message that they have for you concerning this, my loves. Okay. Let's see what protection message they have. Let's see. Okay. It says protection me message. Are you holding on to anger, jealousy, or resentment because you got stung? Or could you, ooh, yeah, it's dealing with something. This situation, it, 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 there's like some kind of resentment. There's some kind of something that you're holding on to and it's okay. And I'll, and maybe you need to go within, you know, to really see, like do that, you know, the childhood meditation to just see. Because sometimes we, we can't really see what it is. You know, why we're, why we're afraid? Why are we afraid? Are we afraid of, you know, failing? Are we afraid that, you know, in the past we've never got our way? We're bitter about a subject overall. So even if we got into something new, we're still going to bring that into that. You get what I'm saying? Um, but it says, are you holding on to anger, jealousy, or resentment because you got stung? Or could you have just stung yourself by comparing yourself to others? Ooh, see, worthiness. That's one of the things that we do. We compare our growth. We compare our relationship. We compare what we have. We compare everything until the two. It, it, we were like, you know what? Mm -mm. But one of the things we've all seen this quote where sometimes like you're comparing your growth where you are to somebody else. You don't know how long, how much effort, dedication, time that they've put into something. Okay. We don't know. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes you expect yourself to be where somebody is you know, over here when they put in 10 years or even if it's not, you know, um, adding up, but you don't know what they did behind the scene. You don't know on a mental space. You don't know at the healing journey, what do they have to give up? What do they have to heal in order to receive what everyone just sees? Like, Oh, something just sprung up, you know, that's what I'm hearing. But it says, there will always be someone else who is more successful, happier, thinner, richer, etc. Jealousy is the false belief that you can't have what you want or someone could take away something that was supposed to be yours. Let it go and release all those feelings that are making you sting, making the sting hurt long after the stinger has been removed, okay? The wasp spirit has a has woken you up and now you are called to trust that disappointment can lead you to a different and better path. Align with spirit now and trust that this too shall pass. It is already doing so for the pain subsides when you stop telling the story of how much it hurt. Okay, so like moving on, letting, letting things, the past can't hurt you. It's already happened. Okay, and I know sometimes that's a little hard to hear, but I promise you, we have the seahorse spirit. And this is about watching weight, but it's for verse. So I feel like, you know, there's something that you can't get, you keep over going something in your head when it comes to you, you know, going after the desires of your heart. With, I feel like this is you with the two of arrows injustice. It's an injustice to yourself because it's keeping you in a place that you desire to move away from. Okay. So you can have this grand rebirth. So you can receive and be open for all these amazing opportunities that are in your vortex, that are in your energy field. Because it's so much delicious, deliciousness and it's not going anywhere. It's just a little bit delayed, but it's yours. But you're going to really see these when you come in and realize your worthiness. Okay? 
So I love you guys so freaking much. It is such an honor to read for all of you beautiful souls. <laughs> all right. Just know that I'm sending you so much love, so much light. It is currently raining like cats and dogs or frogs because I heard that it really does rain frogs. And I did see some little t little frogs. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how real it is, but I feel it's real. But anyways, I did. I, in it, I do be seeing little frogs when it's be raining. But anyways, <laughs> that's another discussion. So make sure you go out and hug a tree for me and you. Okay. Cause like, you know, send me oodles of love and light. Cause like the internet keep going in and out. And I'm like, oh, come on, man. Come on. Cut me a break. <laughs> All right, guys. So I love you so freaking much. And I will catch you guys on my channel. Take care. Just to follow, she blazing. Thank <laughs> you.